Alright everyone, I'm gonna put that in, put this in, and let's put this on. We have a mystery to solve, and hopefully we don't die. No, I'm just kidding. How's it going everyone? I'm Sergeant Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Okay, so this time we shouldn't get lost because I actually have my walkthrough ready to go this time. I gotta go to the infirmary. Crap. That's not the way to the infirmary. It's a lot of stopping. You don't need no wall walking. If you don't want to know the real reason why I'm wearing this suit, Check out the da uh, Drive with Dave and Amber video or from earlier today. Number six. Whoa, hello, boy, with the scary ghost shape four. Hello. <laughs> Crap. He's looking right at me. Ugh. <laughs> Ryo Yoshizawa. That's right. I know your name. Show him the top. Well, duh. I feel bad for what happened to you, but I can't sympathize with what you're doing. Having strangers because of your own despair? Pulling them into a horrible place like this? And killing them? You killed our dear friend. I thought it was friends. I thought we killed friends. Yeah, I just looked it up. You killed our friends. Did I emphasize on that sound enough? I'm gonna assume so. <laughs> I can never forgive you for that. Wow. This is yours. It's part of your body, so I'm going to give it back to you. He handed over his tongue for some weird reason. My home. My tongue. Thank you, miss. Oh, boy. Um, please don't. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? What is? Wh yeah, that. What's happening? Yeah, that sums it up. Damn it! Another earthquake? You gotta be kidding me! Um, I don't like those sounds. I won't get anywhere by wallowing in self-pity here. Yuka, I swear I'll protect you. Please, wait for me. First things first, though, I need to go check on Naomi. Wait, where the hell is Naomi? Forget. Girl in the red dress. Hey! Hey, you! Wait! What? Excuse me. This is. Since when you were you the villain of this story? Who is this? It's the body of a high. Oh. Oh. Oops. Huh? The door is nailed shut. It definitely won't be opening anytime soon. 
not enter under any circumstances. Principal Takamine Yanagi Horei. Special name. Yay. So obviously I gotta go. My hoarder tingly senses are telling me to go in here. Should I go in here? I probably don't have much of a choice, do I? Uh. Okay, there's no way I'm ever going to be able to reach that. Red Soul. Mino Nike. What is this? Someone's cell phone is lying on the ground. Pick it up. Uh, yeah, sure. Acquired Psycho's cell phone. Oh. Yeah, it's Shinohara's. Psycho seemed to have been in the middle of texting someone when she dropped her phone. The text entry window is still open. While confirming the phone's owner, Satoshi wound up inadvertently reading the whole thing. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, Shinohara. I really didn't mean to. Wait, what did he just read? I don't think Naomi should see this. Now, at any rate... Red door. Please. The door, of course, the door's locked. That is a television. Isn't it? I did find that video cassette in the other building. Huh? If only we had some way of watching it. Fingers crossed, I guess. I have both Naomi's and Psycho's cell phones. Is this like a cell phone collection thingy now? What's going on? Here, I need walkthrough now. Put up walkthrough. And... Oh. Backtrack. Great. The thing I love doing. Go to the T section. Basically, just go back to where I started. And, uh. Hello? That's it, that's all I know. Yeah, I, I didn't know very much. <laughs> I. I. Okay, go to 2F, I guess. If I remember correctly, Naomi is on this floor. In the infer- Naomi? Naomi? Please, don't leave me alone in here like that. Sorry. I was out looking for Yuka. Okay, that makes sense. Did you find her? No. The corridor that leads to where I saw her last went back to being a wall. Can't find any way of getting to the other building anymore. Other building? There's a whole other building? Yeah. Looks like the school, Yuka. Morishi and I were in is different from this one. We need to find some way of traveling from one space to another. That would be ideal. Yeah. 
Makes sense. Wait a minute. Why are you standing out here instead of waiting inside the infirmary? I was attacked in there earlier by some kind of black, shadowy mist thing. So I was a little scared to be in there. Afraid it might attack me again. Are you serious? I'm really sorry about that. Then, don't worry about it. But there's something in there, for sure. I think we should keep our distance. No objections here. Alright then. Well, with that done, there's the first door on the right, 5A. Wait. Including the one I just saw, or... Backtrack to the inner T. Okay, I miss. There's a lot of backtracking here. Detective boy, don't like backtracking. I like to de I like to detect the fake, not backtrack. Okay, so five A. I'm looking for five A. Hmm. <laughs> This one? Hello? The lights changed positions again. Naomi, do you mind waiting here for a sec? Sure, no problem. It's close enough. I was one, I'm pretty sure I was like one pixel off, but... We'll go with it. Naomi, now, grab it. Okay, got it. Whoa, okay. There's the key to the custodian closet we haven't been able to get to for a while. Nicely done in there. In fact, you seem totally unfazed. Did you figure out what we needed to do on your own or something? Actually, I had to do something similar before with Psycho. Did you? Same here, but with Yuka. Let's keep moving. We'll find her. I know we will. Optimism. Time to go back to detectivating, I hope. This is going to be it. This is where the key... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Eh, new. No. Yes, use the... Yes! Now let's see what's really going on in here. Wow, it actually is a TV. I forgot the light. What's going on? Why is it so cold? Something really smells. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <sighs> and it's pitch black in here. Can you find a light switch anywhere? I'll try. Uh... Found it. That barely. Wow. <sighs> Thanks. Where the. Man, it does stink in here. It's not just mold, is it? Probably not. Huh. That's odd. What is. Oh, nothing. It's like deja vu. I could swear I've seen this room before. How so?
It's an old Japanese style of Tatsuma. Sliding door. Presumably opening to a closet. It's torn and stained in equal measure throughout its surface. Something seems off about this closet. I get the feeling this is one door we shouldn't open. You know what? I'll take your word for it. There's a video 8 camcorder lying on top of the TV. Its cassette deck is empty. That... I know what we have to do. What is something this recent doing in a place like this old? Maybe it belonged to someone who was brought here like us. Yeah, that does make sense. Unfortunately, there's no cord here to hook it up to the TV. And it's out of batteries, so it doesn't look like we'll be able to get much use out of it. But... Something sticky seemed to melt it all over its surface. The rest is everywhere. I don't know how to feel about that. Inside the cabinet, there's a notebook labeled Night Guard Logbook, and a few crumpled pieces of paper. Heavenly Host Elementary School Confinement Tour. Now taking applications. That's frightening to think about. The sheets of paper contain what appears to be a seemingly endless list of names. Lettering is worn, however, making it impossible to confirm exactly what's written. Oh, jeez. An old beat-up kettle. Every day up through November 18th, 1975 is crossed off with a big X. Hello. I can... There's like nothing in there that I could do anything with. I mean, let me check the guide really quick to see. Oh, I'm supposed to read the note on the ground? Really? I thought that was going to be a memoir. There's a magazine article here from a publication called Strange But True, Stories of the Occult. It's a follow-up to a previous report. Read it. Sure. Chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building. Follow. Let's talk a bit more about Yoshikazu Yanagi Hori. Beloved son of Heavenly Host Elementary's principal, Takamine Yanagi Hori. The man was a born instructor. Pure and simple. He took up the mantle as soon as he could and performed his duties with peerless panache. But then the illness struck, and little by little, his winning personality gave way to pure instinct. He was slowly losing all sense of identity. Well, that's not good at all. Though the cause of this illness was unknown, its effects were anything but. Simply put, good teacher had become reverting to a childlike state. He began carrying an antique doll with him at all times, a memento from a long-forgotten festival, perhaps. Given to him by his late mother. Sorry for the cut. Um, alarms went off. And one of those could be copyright problematic, so yeah, not showing that. Um, his behavior during class dis degraded quickly. More often than not, his lectures would cease before the period's end, and he'd begin wailing mournfully. Finally, several months prior to the kidnapping and murder incident, Yoshiza oh gosh, Yoshikazu reached a point where he could no longer communicate his thoughts. Although he could still understand others, he became virtually incapable of forming words without intense focus. Given all the evidence mounted against him, Yoshikazu, Yoshikazu, it seriously sounds like Yoshi playing a kazoo. That's it. 
was arrested on multiple counts of kidnapping, murder, and desecration of the dead. But due to his mental condition, he was never able to confess his involvement in these crimes, or even properly discuss them with our authorities. Our authorities can't speak. Everything hinged on the testimony of the sole survivor, one Sachiko Shinozaki, age seven. In search of the truth behind the less scientific applications, this incident spurned. I, of course, chose to follow the trail of this mysterious little girl. Those who have seen the infamous newspaper photos accompanying this story may remember Sachiko best as the girl with the strikingly unusual red dress. It's hard not to feel sympathy for someone so young, forced to watch other children her age being tortured and killed one by one. Yeah. And certainly, if I were to find Miss Shinozaki and secure an interview, there would be some real moral concerns about digging up such painful memories. Then again, she's been a full-grown and, hopefully, well, just an adult for over 10 years at this point. By now, she should be able to look back upon these horrific events with some objectivity and give a more thorough account of what happened that day. Please. Just because, to, to be frank, time has almost nothing to do with it. You all right, Ayumi? I'm impressed, Shinozaki. You're far stronger than I thought. Totally fearless of that weight. I just realized, is Ayumi related to this little girl? Is Ayumi related to the girl in the red dress in any way? Something. Any for your thoughts on that one if you've played this before? Just don't spoil. I was scared out of my mind. My brain is still struggling to make sense of all this. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, okay, but look. The ghost is gone. I guess. You really managed to appease it. What the heck just happened, though? Are, are you alright? You should probably dry your tears and blow your nose at least. Ah, what the hell? Not on my shirt. <laughs> you kind of deserved that. Somehow I knew that was going to happen. Okay. I want to make sure I'm in the right spot on this here. There we go. All right. Didn't I tell you before that you shouldn't say things like that? You t what are you two? Ugh, that's really gross. Not good. She's not normally like this. Shinozaki. Yeah, that can't be good. Anyway, where are we on time? Okay, I'm going to leave this here. We'll investigate next time. We kind of stumbled upon a couple different things, though, in this one, which, interestingly enough, actually piqued my interest. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Corpse Party. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button in so far you can't see anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for a horror game or an RPG, so, either category you'd like to see on here. Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out something else that I've, we've done on this channel that the train is stopped by? That's kind of like this. Click the link in the bottom right hand corner that trains you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this right, click the link in the bottom right here and the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's on to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!